Hi everybody, I'm Nathan Repitz, tire specialist on the Jason Johnson Racing All Bob 41 team. Today, I'm gonna to explain a little bit about wheels. So, wheels and tires are not the same thing. They can't be used interchangeably. Wheels are a separate part of the race car uh, that we have control over, that we can change around to get different effects on our handling out there on the track. So I'm gonna give you three basic points to learn about wheels. All right, everybody, point number one is the construction of the wheel, how it's actually all put together to get our final product like you see right here. So we are proud to run weld racing wheels here at Jason Johnson Racing, and they come to us in three separate parts that we have to join together. We have an outer half, an inner half, and a center, and they all bolt together. The way this works is the two halves go together, and then you take your center and it will go in here like so. And then we take some silicone, we go around the welds and at the seam just to make sure that they're airtight and then they're ready to go on the race car. All right, now point number two are the bead locks. Now ordinary uh, car tires, you have the bead of the tire and that fits in this little groove on the wheel here. And it inflates, it sits in there just fine. But in racing, these tires are under a lot of stress. So we use bead locks, which is a metal ring that actually bolts and squeezes the rubber bead onto the wheel itself. Now when we mount these, we put the tire down onto the wheel and it sits in here just like this. And then we have this metal ring that goes on top. And then that bolts down and it keeps the rubber on the wheel. And at Jason Johnson Racing, we usually run double beadlock rear wheels. You gain a little bit in weight, but you make up for that uh, with some strength and durability. Uh, you will have a beadlock on the inside of your left rear and on the outside of the right rear. Think about when the car slides through the corner and if it slides this way, you want that leading edge to have the beadlock ring. That way the tire doesn't pop off the bead. And last point number three is offset. Now I'm not talking about the wrapper from the Migos. Offset refers to where the center is in relation to the wheel itself and how that load is distributed to the tires. To show you the difference in offsets for rear wheels, here I have a five off, as we call it, and then an eight off. Now the offset number refers to the distance from the inside of the wheel center to the outside edge where the tire would meet the wheel. So here you see five inches, that is a five offset wheel. Now a deeper offset or a bigger number is going to put more load on the outside of the right rear and in effect that tightens the car up. Now some teams will run the same wheel offset everywhere they go. Other teams will change their offsets in the middle of the night. It's all based around your package and the effect you want it to have on your race car. All right folks, now we've come out here to the right rear corner of the 41 to get a visualization of what we were just talking about. Um, so this is just the wheel center right here. Pretend everything else is built up around it. I just have it deconstructed so you can see. Now, throughout the night, we can use wheel spacers to adjust how far the wheel itself is from the race car, and then that will change the way the load is placed on the tires, and it'll affect your handling. Typically, on the right rear corner, moving the wheel in will give you more uh, a tighter effect. Um, now, with the wheel offsets, one thing that we're able to do is we could have the wheel center itself right here or we could have the wheel center several inches all the way out here and keep the same exact spacing between the tire and the frame of the race car. So that's how we'll use offsets to get a different effect. That's something you might not see just walking through the pits, but every crew chief is playing with that in their setup. Well, everybody, there's a little bit about wheels and how they're separate from tires and how we use them on our race car. 
The Outlaws and I are going to do more of these, so drop a comment below and let us know what you want me to talk about next. I'm Nathan Repitz, and tune in on Dirt Vision, and I'll see you out at the races.